Okay, so now that we have gotten to the boss room of the Deku Tree, let's go inside! So it starts out innocently enough. I mean, there's nothing here as of yet, nothing we can see. But eventually, the door will be closed behind us. And so now we're locked in here with the boss. And we've got to lock our eyes on it. Alright, so where are you? We've got to cross eyes here. Target sighted. Alright. First boss of the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. The parasitic armored arachnid known as Goma. And what you want to do here is basically go nuts with the sword. Oh, okay, apparently I'm having um, a brain, brain cramps going on here because um, for some reason I was I'm a bit uncoordinated. I mean, yeah, it's been a long time since I played this game, 12 years, but that's no excuse for not being for being uncoordinated. So what Goma's gonna do is her eyes are gonna turn red and she's gonna go into her spawn session. She's gonna spawn out three eggs, and if you want to not put up with Gomas for the course of that battle, you gotta shatter them, and then get out of the way, ASAP, and then let her crash, and then get in her face again. Now somehow, and I don't know how they do it, I've seen a couple of um, gamers when they've done this as a let's play, they beat Goma after two rounds because somehow they're able to maintain her stun. And I don't know how they do it, because I've tried to use the Deku Seeds, or in this case the Deku Nuts, repeatedly to maintain the stun on Goma, and it never seems to work for me. Which I don't understand why, but hey, I'm not the one who created this game, and I don't know how the heck they were able to pull that off. And in my first attempt at defeating Goma here in my, in my practice run, on my practice file, after, right immediately, the second after I shattered her three eggs, I was down to one heart, the very second that I smashed her third egg, Goma immediately landed on me, crushed me, and got me game over. So, I'm safe to, suffice this to say, I did get my revenge, but I want to hear as well here in the Let's Play to make sure that I can actually do this cleanly with no problems. And go! Alright, said so target to turn around. Yeah, come at me, Queen Goma, and I'll cut up your eye. Because, quite honestly, your eye looks ugly. For, for a female, you are not, well, you are not beautiful. You, you definitely are in need of plastic surgery or something. Very much so. Alright, next wave of eggs. Okay, three at a time. Oh, did I get two at the same time? Yeah, I did! I got two at the same time! Wow, awesome! I will take it. And I will still take my first victory in the Let's Play over a boss. Queen Goma has been dethroned. And I will take it. Very much so. So her eye flashes out as she erodes into nothingness. And by virtue of our victory, we get our first full heart container. Your maximum life energy is increased by one heart. Your life will energy will be totally filled. So now that we have four hearts at our disposal, we may now use this awesome portal to leave the Deku Tree. Or at least the inside of it. And we are now back out in front of the Deku Tree. Well done, Link. Yes, hello there again, Deku Tree's face, with the awesome mustache. Thou hast verily demonstrated thy courage. I knew that thou wouldst be able to carry out my wishes. Now, I have yet more to tell ye. Wouldst thou listen? Well, we might as well. Now, listen carefully. A wicked man of the desert cast this dreadful curse upon me. But why we're zooming in to find out about it, I don't know. I guess it's to show the darkness that this crazy guy with the tan, the really deep tan, has. I mean, yeah, that, that is one shockingly deep tan. Ever hear of sunscreen? Perhaps you should stop using a tanning bed. This vile mat ceaselessly uses his vile sorcerer's powers in his search for the sacred realm that is connected to Hyrule. 
for it is in that sacred realm that one will find the divine relic, the Triforce, which contains the essence of the gods. And of course, it was with this game where mythology really became a factor in RPGs. Before time began, before spirits and life existed, three golden goddesses descended upon the chaos that was Hyrule. Din, the goddess of power. Nehru, the goddess of wisdom. Faror, the goddess of courage. So yeah, because apparently, I guess for some reason there are still clouds and rain, even though there's nothing that can possibly exist. <laughs> Don't ask me why, they just made it that way. Din, with her strong flaming arms, she cultivated the land and created the red earth. Nehru poured her wisdom onto the earth and gave the spirit of law to the world. Faror, with her rich soul, produced all life forms who would uphold the law. And they all have simultaneous concussions. The three great goddesses, their labors completed, departed for the heavens, and golden sacred triangles remained at the point where the goddesses left the world. Since then, the sacred triangles have become the basis of our world's providence, and the resting place of the triangles has become the sacred realm. Thou must never allow the desert man in black armor to lay his hands on the sacred Triforce. Thou must never suffer that man with his evil heart to enter the sacred realm of legend. That evil man who cast the death curse upon me and sapped my power. Because of that curse, my end is nigh. Though your valiant efforts to break the curse were successful, I was doomed before you started. Yes, I will pass away soon. But do not grieve for me. I have been able to tell you of these important matters. This is Hyrule's final hope. Stand up again, Link. Go now to Hyrule Castle. There thou will surely meet the Princess of Destiny. Take this stone with you. The stone that man wanted so much that he cast the curse on me. And so... From out of nowhere, we are given this magical green stone, courtesy of the Deku Tree. In fact, it's so amazing that Link can't even touch it. It just levitates over him. You got the Kokiri's Emerald. This is the spiritual stone of the forest, now entrusted to you by the great Deku Tree. The future depends upon thee, Link. Thou art courageous. Navi the Ferry, help Link to carry out my will. I entreat ye, Navi. Goodbye. And with that, summer turns to fall, the leaves fall away from the tree, and the Great Deku Tree is petrified. Let's go to Hyrule Castle, Link. Goodbye, Great Deku Tree. And so, away we go. But before we can leave, guess who is in our way yet again? Wow, you just can't catch a hint, can you? You just can't take one either. Hey, Link! What did you do? The great Deku Tree? Did he die? How could you do a thing like that? It's all your fault! Well, you wanna know something, Mito? I'm wondering how that fairy of yours even accepted you in the first place. Because, quite honestly, who could put up with you? 
In any event, we can now move on, leave the Kokiri Forest, and head now out into the field to Hyrule Castle. Goodbye everyone, I'll be back soon! Because I will, because there is something that I'll need to obtain later on. A few things, actually. Oh, you're leaving? Hi there, Saria. How did you come out of nowhere? I knew that you would leave the forest someday, Link. Because you are different from me and my friends. It should be my friends and I. But that's okay, because we'll be friends forever, won't we? I want you to have this ocarina. Please take good care of it. So we get a little musical instrument from Miss Saria. You received the fairy ocarina. This is a memento from Saria. Set it to C and press C to start playing it. On the select item subscreen, you can set it to C up, down, or right, or left, down, or right, and then use that C to start playing it. You can play different notes with A and the four C buttons, or in my case, the four right joystick control directions. Press B to quit playing, or to start your song over again. When you play my ocarina, I hope you'll think of me and come back to the forest to visit. Don't worry, Saria, I will. Because there is something that I will need from you in particular, but for now, I must be on my way. For there are things that I need that are very important. But don't worry, I won't be gone that long. So now, out into the field. Hyrule Field, to be exact. This is the main center point for all the different places that we can go to over the course of this game. And we're gonna need to be light on our feet and fast on them too because time always flows out here in the field and if you're not fast enough, you're gonna be cut out in the dark. And there's something else we need to find out about. Hoo hoo Link! Look up here! It appears that the time has finally come for you to start your adventure! Well, it is, but who are you? And how did you know who I am? You will encounter many hardships ahead. That is your fate. Don't feel discouraged even during the toughest times. Go straight this way and you will see Hyrule Castle. You will meet a princess there. Well, that's what I was told about by the Great Deku Tree, thanks for confirming that. If you are lost and don't know which way to go, look at the map. The areas you have explored will be shown on the map. Press start to enter the subscreens and Z or R to find the map. On the map subscreen, you will see a flashing dot showing which way you should go next. Did you get all that? Yes, I did. Alright then, I'll see you around. Hoot 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 ha! And so now that our new friend, this giant owl, has wasted enough of my time, we now have a sun to beat. We got to beat the sun. And I'm not going to use the somersaulting method because I want to prove that you can get there without it. But yes, we must move quickly or else if we don't make it by the time the wolf howls, then the gates will close, the drawbridge will close, and we'll be stuck outside for the night. And you don't want that to happen. Not at all. So we need to be very fast. Well, Link, you can do it. It's starting to get sunset now, but we can make this. We can make it there! You'll know that it's, the wolf is about to howl when the music out in the field starts to fade away. Like it is right now. But we're gonna make it. As long as you set foot on the bridge, when the wolf howls, you're fine. And heck, we even made it with enough daylight to spare that we still have the normal day scene here in the Hyrule Castle town. And it's a very lively place, the square here, the market. Lots of conversations going on, bartering, and of course, this is my favorite, the dancing couple that never stops dancing, no matter what time of day it is. So a lot of liveliness here, and a young lady that we actually have to speak to. Hey, your clothes! They're different. You're not from around here, are you? Hmm. Oh, you're a fairy boy from the forest! My name is Malone. 
My dad owns Lun Lun Ranch! Dad went to the castle to deliver some milk, and he hasn't come back yet! And that's actually going to be quite important, because we're going to make our way now off to the Hyrule Castle itself. But the sun is about to completely descend, and you may have noticed passing by our shot on the camera. Guess who's going to say hello again? Hey Link! This way! The princess is inside the castle just ahead. Be careful not to get caught by the guards! And I gotta ask you, why is your head upside down? I think you need to go see an exorcist. On this ground, time flows normally. But time stands still while you are in Lon Lon Ranch or in a town. If you want time to pass normally, you'll need to leave town. Well, well, which way are you going to go now? Do you want to hear what I said again? No, because your upside down head is freaking me out. <laughs> oh, you're a smart kid. Good luck then. And so he flies away. So, we now need to make our way over here first of all because... Whoa, that almost landed on my head. Yeah, that's another gold sculpture. And we got a token by destroying it. So, it would be easy to come over here and talk to this guard. See if we can pass. Hello there. Welcome to Hyrule Castle Town. It's a peaceful, prosperous town. For now. But, yeah, that's pretty much all he says, and you're not going to get through him. So, you got to find a way to get around him. <coughs> so, the only way you can do that is to hang a left and climb up this vine. You have to go straight up the middle, also just drop right back down again. So now, there's something that you absolutely have to do here in order for you to advance. You may have noticed on the horizon there, there are some guards. Now, you don't want to get caught by them because it's the only way you can get through to the castle to see the princess. However, you are actually forced by the storyline to get caught by them at least once. So they get you, you're exposed, and you get kicked out. Now you may have noticed, things are a bit different. Hear the singing in the background? Well, if we turn the corner, guess who's back? This only happens after you get caught by a guard. Are you going to the castle, fairy boy? Would you mind finding my dad? He must have fallen asleep somewhere around the castle. What a thing for an adult to do! <laughs> oh yeah! If you look for him, I'll give you this to you. I'll give this to you. I've been incubating this egg very carefully. <laughs> so, you got a weird egg. Feels like there's something moving inside. Set it to C and see what happens. On the select item subscreen, you equip it to C, left, down, or right, and then press C to use it. So, we actually have to take this thing with us. And so now, onward we go. As the sun is rising on a new day in Hyrule, but before we continue, we need to make use of that weird egg. So we're going to set the C, and we have to basically let it do its thing. As Milan said, it's incubating, but we need to let it finish its incubation. So you basically have to get around here now to um, avoid the castle guards. You have to move and stand in just the right way, in right particular locations, so that you can weave around the guards and not get caught by them. Ultimately, where you want to go is over here to the far left. Because you may have noticed some stones here, and we can climb these. We can climb this sheer face th thanks to these stones. And so now, what we want to do is keep going to the left, as far as we can. And now we want to go into the trench. We have to go into the moat. And we want to swim over to the other side, behind the backs of the guards that were at the gate there. And we want to climb up here, because it's the only way we can keep moving. Cut open some more leaves, some more shrubs. Is there anything over here? Because... I want to see if there is. Because sometimes there are, yeah. There are usually, like, hearts or rupees, or in some cases, even sculptulas. So, in any event... Here is Milan's dad. But, we can't do anything, because... He is taking a nap, and it's a rather prolonged one. 
Welcome to our ranch, it's so fun. Come on, look around. So yeah, he's off in Dreamland, and we can't do anything to that until we get to another day. We actually have to wait for time to pass by to the point where we can actually continue on with the story. So I'm going to take the opportunity ahead of time to move these milk crates because you can't open that door and we need to move them to where that little hole is over there where that water is coming out. So let's pull on this crate as far as we can. So now we have to wait for a sunset to occur and then we have to wait for the next day to occur. Then and only then will our egg hatch. And once that hatches, then we can continue on. So, I'm going to let the time run its course here. And then I will come back to you once we get to the next morning. So, be back in a moment. <laughs> 